The crew of the shuttle Atlantis got a Thanksgiving surprise when they found turkey dinners waiting for them on board the shuttle. It appears astronauts aboard the International Space Station may have sneaked the packets of turkey, yams and green beans onto the shuttle sometime this week. The Atlantis crew will not have to wait much longer for their real meals. The shuttle undocked from the space station Wednesday and is scheduled to land later today. Joining us now from the Kennedy Space Center is CBS News consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, first question, what is the most significant accomplishment of this particular mission for the shuttle? Well, it's very, it's very straightforward, uh, Randall. They carried up something like 15 tons of spare parts and equipment to the International Space Station. You know, after this flight, there are only five shuttle missions planned to the station, and they're, they're trying to pre-position a lot of these big, heavy components, things that might break after the shuttle is retired, that it would be difficult to launch on smaller Russian, European, and Japanese cargo ships. Uh, so they put these two pallets of spare parts out on the main power truss of the station, did three spacewalks, a little bit of get-ahead activity for some upcoming assembly flights, uh, but all in all, a pretty important mission for the long-term health of the space station. When is the next shuttle mission scheduled? Do you know? Yeah, it's uh, scheduled to go up in February, and they're going to add uh, the last major U.S. module. They call it Node 3. Uh, it's going to end up being what amounts to a habitation module for the astronauts, a place to put their sleep quarters and exercise equipment. Uh, that goes up in February, and after that, there will only be four flights. You know, Randall, it's hard to believe that we're down to the point now where you can count the number of shuttle flights remaining literally on one hand. It's been a long time, a long, hard journey. Now, before they, they left, uh, they circled the, the uh, space station once or twice. I guess they were checking, just checking it out. Any, any reported problems? No, no. You know, every time they undock from the station, they do what they call a one-lap fly around, where they literally do a 360-degree loop. And the guys on the space shuttle use their cameras, telephoto lenses, et cetera. They basically just do a photo documentation run. They're looking for any signs of anything that might have changed. Just kind of a way of keeping tabs on how the entire station's looking up there in space. Astronaut Randolph Bresnik will be coming back home to meet a new member of his family. Tell us about that, Bill. Yeah, he sure will. You know, his, his wife, Rebecca, her due date was in December, but they moved the, uh, the delivery up. Uh, and it turns out by coincidence, or bad timing if you're Randy Bresnik and Rebecca, uh, the birth was scheduled for uh, during this mission. So uh, Randy Bresnik had done a spacewalk. He had had to go to bed that night. This was last Saturday night uh, without any word, you know, to find out how the labor was coming. And when he got up the next morning, of course, they told him the good news. And they later had uh, video chats and he's seen pictures. So um, he got to see her and, and everybody, mother and baby, are healthy. Uh, but he's obviously looking forward to getting back down on the ground and seeing his new daughter in person. And uh, obviously someone anticipated the birth because they were passing around um, <laughs> bubblegum cigars. But let's talk of, for a minute now about the private part of the space race. Um, the uh, rocket built by Mr. Rutan. Now, we have pictures of yeah. the first rocket ship launched in 2004. Uh, he's going to unveil another one, I think, next week. What's going to be the difference, Bill? Well, that's right. You know, this is kind of informally called Spaceship 2, but this is a, sp a rocket ship that's been built uh, in cooperation with Sir Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin Galactic, he's calling this outfit. Uh, but the plan is this is a scaled-up version of this rocket that can carry paying customers. Uh, right now, it's believed that tickets on this rocket are going to cost about $200,000, obviously uh, something for the well-heeled, if you will. Uh, but they really hope that long-term, if they can start doing this on a regular basis, uh, that prices will come down and that eventually you could perhaps get to the stage where a ticket might just cost fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Of course, that's still expensive, uh, but you know, if you look at what an around-the-world cruise cost or something like that, uh, it's in the ballpark. But this is a pretty major first step. You know, they're going to try to launch paying customers on suborbital flights up and down, up above a hundred kilometers or sixty miles, and that'll be something uh, if they could pull that off. Thank you very much, Bill Harwood, for filling us in on that. And uh, $15,000, I'll let you buy my first ticket. Thank you for joining us <laughs> on Up to the Minute. My pleasure.